All right, we're going to learn how to print from Lightroom to the P800 printer, the Epson printer. Uh, we start by uh, switching from the library module to the print module. And whatever image we've got working on appears here. Uh, now we're going to go over to the bottom left-hand corner to page setup. Here we're going to choose the printer. Instead of format for any printer or this particular printer, we're going to choose the Epson SC P800 series printer. And then in paper size, which is already on US letter, we're just going to confirm that that's the basic US letter, not borderless, not anything else, and click OK. Now we're going to go to the template browser area over on the left-hand side in the Lightroom templates section. If you rotate that open, scroll down, and just above the bottom option, there's maximum size. Click on that. That's going to make your image as large as it can be with the smallest borders. Now we go to the upper right-hand corner, and we're in the right-hand panel, under Layout Style, by default, Single Image Contact Sheet is on. You can leave that. Under Image Settings, the default is Rotate to Fit. We're going to leave that on. That's just fine. Under Layout, Layout is a bunch of stuff that we're not going to change. This is borders and grid size. Um, this is all preset for you with the maximum size template. In the future, you could customize that. We're not going to. Guides, this is a bunch of stuff that will show up on your monitor there in your preview area but does not print, like rulers and image cell size. We're going to not touch any of that. We're going to move on to page. Page also, we're not going to use any of this stuff, but this is a place where in the future you could print an identity plate or watermarking into your image. We're going to leave that alone. We're going to come down instead to print job. And in print job, we're going to turn on print resolution and make sure that that is set to 240 pixels per inch PPI. Uh, by default, 16-bit output is on. If it's not, turn it on. You have a raw file. It's capable of 16-bit output. We want that on. Then we come down to this section called Color Management in an area called Profile. Click that open and choose Other. This brings up a list of all of the profiles you currently have installed on the computer. You may not see all of these, but what we're looking for is a profile that matches our P800 series printer with our Epson Ultra Premium Luster Photo Paper. Turn that on and click OK. That now shows up as your profile. Then in the intent area, we're going to switch that to relative. And now we come down to the printer button, printer dot dot dot. That pops open our printer dialog. We're going to make sure the correct printer is chosen at the top. Now we come down to this section and switch from layout to printer settings. In the printer settings panel, we're going to make sure that our media type is agreeing with the profile that we set earlier, so ultra premium photo paper luster. Down below that, our resolution should be at 1440 dpi and high speed should be turned off. And now you hit the print button and make sure your print paper is in the printer. You are ready to go.